Hi everyone, Ryan here from hollypower.com. A quick video today to show you how to set up your own Facebook group. Um, I will talk a little bit about why you might like to do that at the end, uh, but first I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, it's dead simple, you can do it in just a few clicks, so let's get straight in. So from the drop down in your top right, um, you click on, um, <coughs> click on the little down arrow and you have the option here to create group. Okay, so click on that. Um, and then it brings up these options where you can put the details in there you want. So first of all, you want to put in there a, um, a name. So I'm going to call this one Holly's Beauty Group. You can call it whatever you want. You have to add at least one person to um, to set the group up. Now, what you will find, this is one of the advantages of groups, you can actually add as many people as who are your personal friends on Facebook as you wish. You cannot add people who like your business page, but you can add as many as you want from your own personal friends list. You must add at least one, so I'll add Holly. Um, and then you need to choose the privacy of the group. So you've got three choices. You can either have a public group, which means it's available to anybody. Anyone can see what's in there and anyone can see anything that's been posted. Alternatively, you can have a closed group, which means anyone can see it and who's in it, but you have to actually accept people's applications to join it. And therefore, only the members who have been accepted can see other people's posts. So it means that those posts are sort of hidden from the public, as it were. And then lastly, you've got a secret group, which means that um, it can only be found if people actually have the link. It won't show up in any searches. So choose whichever is going to be most suitable for you. Uh, I'm going to make this one a public group because uh, in this instance, we want it to be found by as many people as possible. And then you can choose whether or not you want to add the group to your favorites. Um, I'd recommend doing it because it makes your life easier. If you click yes to add it to your favorites, it means that the name of the group will show up in this panel on your left hand side uh, when you're on your desktop. Um, and likewise, it will show up in your favorites uh, on your um, smartphone as well. OK, press create and would you believe it? It is as easy as that. Now, you do get to choose a little icon if you see fit. Um, so you might as well. Um, I'm going to choose this little pink gift um, and click OK. And it now creates it. Ta -da! You'll see here it brings up a notification saying that it's been added to our favorites. So it means you can find it simply next time with the other groups that you're members of. Um, and then um, and then you can add some of the basic details as well so um, so to begin with you're going to want to personalize it a bit so you're going to want to change the header up here the dimensions of this are different um, so uh, <laughs> just to keep you on your toes it's 801 pixels by 250 pixels um, as you can see for this one that I've made here and you can make these using Canva is how I made that particular one uh, that took me about two seconds as you can see um, and I will put in fact, there will be a little link on this video uh, of a previous video I did showing how you can make those in Canva yourself really simply so have a look at that if you don't know how to get the correct uh, group size picture for your group now um, there's only a few little then bits you need to change uh, or, or, or update rather so first of all you can add as many people as you like in this bit here you can see you can either put in that email address or start typing their names and they'll all come up your entire friend list will be in there you can add all of your friends if you see fit you also then want to add a description so you would want to have a little bit in there so that people who you add to the group can see what they're being added to and make a decision as to whether or not they want to join it. So put something in there that accurately represents what the group is all about um, and also will entice them in. And then you're also able to add some tags with a few descriptive keywords. You'll want to do this if it's a public group because it will mean that it will then show up in suggestions for other people um, and it will help fa tell Facebook what it's all about so that it will put it in front of the right people for you. So you might want to choose what it's about or your geographical location if you are a local business, that sort of thing. That's pretty much the, the, the gist of it. Um, you can then post on the wall in exactly the same way that you would your business page or even your home page. You can add videos. You can create a poll uh, so you can ask the people in your group uh, to vote on things, which is really handy. Um, you can also sell stuff 
directly through it. Now that's actually a new um, a new feature that they've recently added um, with the with the Facebook Marketplace. Something I've not actually tested myself yet, but you can do that as well if you see fit. And you can also upload files um, and create events through there also. So that gives you a quick overview of how to set up a Facebook group. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if it has, please subscribe to our channel. As I say I will put the other links as well in the uh, in the comment section of the other videos, which I think will be useful. And uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments. Have a great day. I'm Ryan. This is Hollypower.com. All the best. Oh, actually, one thing I did say I would cover and I haven't is why you would want to have a Facebook group. Um, it's really, really useful to have in association with your business, small business page. Um, the reasons why is because you'll actually get far more interaction with your fans um, than you will on your Facebook page. It's much more of a forum feel to it. Um, other people can post in it, which is really good. So you get really good interaction in there. If you want, you can set it, change the settings so that you choose whether or not other people can post or whether or not you've got to approve those posts first, which you might want to do if you find that lots of people are spamming your group um, and just self-promoting in there in addition what you find is Facebook love groups as well so that when you post it will get seen by more people than if you post on your small business page on your small business page you might be lucky to get 10 or 20 percent of the people who like your page actually see your posts um, you can expect much 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 higher numbers with groups uh, we've experienced anything up to 40 or 50 percent of the members will actually see each your posts so you can get a much much bigger reach um, and as I say create a more community feel uh, say so it's something that Facebook are pushing um, and also at the moment it's also really good for your uh, the people in there um, because they don't see any adverts so people like to hang around in the groups and comment and feel like they're part of the community uh, without getting advertised to uh, that's probably going to change I would imagine quite soon Facebook probably will start allowing adverts in there soon um, but at the moment they don't so it's uh, it's a really good place for everyone to hang out so that's the uh, why I've shown you the how that's Facebook groups I was Ryan you have a good day bye now